Talk about it coming up. Then also too, we'll hear in tag team matches as well. The Young Bucks came on. Then some um, Zero Miro and Commander, and we'll have made W Champion MJL. All this fun pro wrestling show starts right now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this edition of the pro wrestling show. I'm your host as always, Tim Dixon. Glad you can join us here the pro wrestling. Show. Join in the conversation using the hashtag Pro Wrestling here on Connect. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe with your Tell a friend, call a friend, and the subscribe button so you won't miss a thing here on Pro Wrestling Show. All right. Okay, we got a lot to get into. So let's get started. With a couple of matches. AEW kicked off with a match that, um, Many people are saying it could be the match of the year. Um, as the former AEW champion, the Young Bucks taking on Penta and Zero Mineral and Commander. Well, um, we saw that match be that here, right here. Um, we saw the Young Bucks. Retain their um Ted retain the um Pentagon Zero. Young Bucks got a lot on their plate coming up this weekend. Young Bucks getting ready for their match against the Golden Jet. <laughs> so the Golden Jets win and they get the Young Bucks um head team title shot. But if the Young Bucks win then the Golden Jets must disband. So there's a lot going on in the state in that match. And we'll talk about that coming up. Also, too, um, tag team action. Will Euler teed up with John Moxley to take on Orange Cassidy and Hook. What match that was right there. You see Orange Cassidy, Will Euler taking down Hook. What's going on with that? As you can tell John Marks won't get his hands on Orange Cassidy so bad. He kept striking uh, Orange Cassidy to get his hands on. It's far from over between them two men, but we'll see. Coming up at full gear, pay-per-view. Who wants it the more? Also, too, we tell you, we're getting your heads up ready for the street fight. Well, you can tell Jericho and company Looked it like they were dressed for the nines looking for a fight. They all came in suits. Kolo Bushi. Um, what's his name? Ken Omega. We want to tell you a little bit. Uh, also, too, right now, Kolo Bushi made um, some business. Kolo Bushi is now all elite. Good for Coney Khan for grabbing Kolo Bushi. Me and Kota Bushi are part of the team. The AEW team is about time. But we'll get to that a little bit later on what's going on with Dakota. Dakota Bushi are now officially signed with all leads. See the graphic right here. It tells you everything you need to know. How everything's going forward and stuff. Plus. Also, too, um, Swerve Strickland and Hammer and Page. These two men will meet this Sunday at Full Gear. In a Texas death match. Look forward to seeing that uh Hammerham Page getting ready, getting himself ready. Even um Man Page had to cross the line to get to the line. And that's what he did in order to do what he needed to do. But Hammerham Page said everything he needed to say in his piece. I think um 
What's his name? Ain't standing, ain't buying it. It's gonna be like that coming forward between the two. You can just know the tensions there, the them running deep between these two men and how that's gonna go down eventually between them two. So we will have to wait and see, but it's gonna be a good fight. I look forward to seeing that match. That's gonna be the match of the night to me. Cool gear. Also, too, um, Mariah May, who made her debut last week. Mariah May, who um, came last week after she had um, made that unforgettable debut and stuff. She came and become uh, Tony Storm's assistant. Mariah May, many of you may remember, she made her appearance last week. Uh, she said she wants to be of the Tony Storm, Rob May, who's been a protege as of late. Sign. We know that Tony Storm has her um picking call. Cause she Rob May becomes the different record between Tony and Storm and Hiroshima for their uh classic for their women's championship match. Rob May um uh, up front, close and personal. This is a match that we're going to anxiously waiting to see between these two women this week. But uh, I may finally got her opportunity for a lifetime. Tony Storm was getting herself ready for her championship match. Tony Storm looking like uh, a starlet or something. Or I may comes out of nowhere who wants to uh, be kind of like an understudy under Tony Storm. She could be that. She could be that. Be the possibility. She helped Tony Storm win the uh, AEW Women's title. We got to wait and see on that. Also, to Samoa Joe was in action. Samoa Joe um, always playing physical mind games as usual. Joe, uh, even the dude was like, what? Joe didn't uh, sell. Small Joe won his match over um, the jobber. Small Joe getting himself ready. Small Joe prepping himself for what could be. Poor Joe. Um, we just had to wait. Small Joe getting himself ready for that. Uh, also been trying to call out MJF as well. Speaking of MJF, a lot of people from MJF's past, like Samoa Joe and Warlow, want to know. Warlow could be one of the members of these mass group. Warlow clothesline saying he won't get his hands on MJF. Could this be a ploy? Only time would tell on that ploy. But Warlow looking forward to uh, he did clotheslining, like clothesline city and stuff. Clotheslining um, people left and right. The warlock be the uh the puppeteer behind the puppet. Only time will tell. You know, that the street fight. The street fight was on. Everyone was class playing in the street fight. Even um Takash was cosplaying like a Sega Genesis character in the Don Callis family, even Jericho. He told you Jericho and his family cosplay. The match went on above him like a free free up free fall throughout the whole arena. I mean the whole arena. He small Joe, you see Oh Bushi um trying to play around the fun. Big Show got um beat up for his troubles. Big Show got scoop slammed and knocked out by um uh, Hobbs, Hobbs. Right, Big Show didn't turn heel and then a lot going on in the net. So, throughout the match, it was not hardcore spots left and right. Um, see it. Um, Jericho, Cola Bush, and Big Show, and Ken Omega won that match with Big Show. Paid the price, but Big Show was laid out. 
So this is um what we saw right here between Big Show and um Powerhouse Hob. Powerhouse Hob and Big Show beating the holy hell out of each other. And now towards the end. So that right here. Big Show getting laid out, scoop slam onto the top of the car by Powerhouse Hob. Powerhouse Hobbs wasn't playing one bit. The man might be a super freak. Um, okay. Well, we had to wait and see on that. This was, um, uh, who that was? What is Jericho and probably Conscience? So, uh, uh, hey. Match was nasty, brutal throughout the whole arena. We made a dramatic, peaceful, and Ken Omega stand up song against uh, Dick Kingston. I think it's not Dick Kingston, but um, Brian Cage. Yeah, it's Brian Cage. Right here, all these men won't be the same. Our flexion, taking out Kota Ibushi and stuff. It was a lot. Riding at stake, can I say that? Um, you see right here, there was the end of the match. Ken Omega setting up Brian Cage with the one wing angel get the win as they duct tape Powerhouse Hobbs. Powerhouse Hobbs had to be watched and be duct taped to the ring. So this match was brutal, like you know what? So, like I said, in my lifetime. You would have thought something like this with 9 11 and everything else and Katrina, but it wasn't the case. But how that went down. Speaking of that, AEW champion MJF looking to confront his number one contender for his title. MJF wants his belt back and can he get his belt back this Sunday, Saturday, I meant to say, on PM Live. And they are ready for, um, like I said, MJF coming out there and trying to um, take his place. Got a lot going on. Even to a point that could there be certain surgery around MJF, certain circle that the devil made mention. Made mention of right where um, Roger Strong and company. Uh, I'm cool. What? Uh, still trying to make Amco part of the show. So hey, no, I didn't win. Even some old Joe looking to watch this match as well. Look forward to this match too. Like going on as well. Uh, you see right here, some old Joe watching the MJF was trying to uh, get his belt back. He tried to beat down the um. Jay White and company, but still can get the job done. They, and the numbers game was just too much. Small Joe watched on and looked and see, like, hey, you know you need my help, but you don't want to ask for help. But if I help you, you got to give me a tile match. So that's on the table. If they ever want to get his belt back, he's going to have to enlist the services of some more Joe in order to get his championship back from uh, Jay White and company. Uh, so Joe looking looking forward to becoming AEW champion sooner rather than later, but we'll have to wait and see about that. All right, that is the AEW Dynamite Ring Report. We're gonna move forward to wrestling hot topic. We told you a little bit earlier that Cody Obushi made it official. Cody Obushi is now AEW All Elite. And he is, he's all the good hire. Good. I'm for Tony Khan on this, um, on this, um, signing. Also, Tony Khan also may mention that he's going to sign a free agent. I don't know who he meant by that. Going to sign on the line, but we just wait and see about that. Um, So, yeah, this is what Tony Khan had wrote right here. So, this is the uh, quote that he sent right here. 
you know, we got Kota Ibushi as Tony Khan and wrote, AEW has agreed to turn one of the world's best wrestlers, a pro who is known respectfully virtually by every AEW fan. They'll come to LA, sign their contract at this. Who is that? A lot of people speculate like it could be CM Punk. It could be somebody we never saw before. It could be, um, I guess, Ryback or something. Who knows? Possibilities are endless, but uh, we just had to wait and see at full gear. I guess Tony Khan would like to play those. I guess he's reading the comments with these folks saying, like, hey, stop with all them surprises and you ain't gonna really mean a surprise. But he had to pull down in his bag of tricks. We just gonna be instead of thinking about it, still kind of personalized. Because ten your money in the ten your and how that's gonna go. Uh, we'll just wait and see. For that. So too, we know that uh AEW is coming to the form again. Uh memories in the form for full gear. Full gear right in event and form. How this gonna go eventually and stuff. He told you that uh Friday and SmackDown will be a joint show joint show, so we'll talk about SmackDown and uh collision. That week, so look for that coming up. But it's um, we had a predictable outcome special. Well, Logan Paul made it clear that the new WWE United States Champion made it clear that he's heading down under. Logan Paul will probably be part of the group from um, Elimination Chamber. So, Logan Paul, we just have to wait and see what Logan Paul's next move is going to be going forward. Um, yeah, we talked about that. Well, um, and finally, W. E. Hoff, he was a W. E. Legend, Sid Vicious, Sid Man Van for WrestleMania uh, 1, got on Twitter and told um, Impact Star. Gordon Grace to like cut back or cut off on the HCG or she won't live to see the you know, Thursdays. And that's just what I was like, Durf. If it's the truth, then you gotta listen to it. Well, what? But, uh, so told being like that, and we'll see. All right. We're gonna end the pro wrestling show with, um, Samoa Joe. Watching on, as we all watching on, to see if MJF can enlist his help to defeat the gun club for this Saturday's tag team time match of Ring of Honor. And can, and can MJF outcome the numbers game of OJ White? Just wait and see about that. Well, thank you for watching the Pro Wrestling Show presents the AW Dynamite. I've been your host, Kendrick Dixon, so long. See you this Friday for a double header, a SmackDown Collision Ring Reports here on the Pro Wrestling Show. See you later.